Greetings, my friends. I've shown you many times that Scripture shows that the great whore of Babylon is no other than America itself, and the head of the great whore is the UN. The land the UN sits on is known as the city of seven hills, just like Rome and about 30 other cities in the world as well are named that. Let's go to Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. As always, all I use is the King James Version Bible. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Okay. Does this match Rome, Italy? No. The church in Rome, yes, the Catholic Church does spread around the world. It does. Does it match uh, Baghdad, Iraq? No. Does it match the UN? Of course it does. The UN sits upon peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. That's the waters. The waters are all of those people around the world, and the UN is the one that sits on those, my friends. The UN is the head of the great whore of Babylon. That's it. Now, let's go to today's information. The UN is saying right now that they want to make every effort to depopulate planet Earth. We talked about Agenda 21 at first, then Agenda 2030, 2021, then 2030. And that doesn't even make any difference because, again, that still falls in a ballpark window of the end of the tribulation when the Millennial Kingdom starts. And that's going to happen. Yeah, the Earth is going to be depopulated, but the UN is not going to do it. God is going to handle this himself, my friends. He's going to handle it through vile judgments, through bold judgments, through just reigning righteous judgment upon the earth, Satan through all kinds of demonic judgment, along with his false prophet, Pope Francis, I'm sure it's him. He's Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama, I'm sure it's him. And whoever it is, they're going to be wreaking havoc on this earth. God is about to make sure the earth is depopulated down, will down to very, very small amount. And a big amount is going to leave in the rapture. But it's going to be mostly children and babies and little ones. There'll be a small portion of Christians that leave, but most Christians, sadly, aren't ready to go to heaven. They're ready to go to hell because they won't repent of their sins after they're saved. The way that 250 scriptures that I've found and I've shared with you over and over again over the last 10 years, plus years, say you have to. We're saved by grace alone. Works can't save us. Works can't keep us saved. Repentance is not works. Repentance is a separate mandate, separate from works, separate from grace. <coughs> it's mandatory. And if you don't believe it, you end up in hell with the lake of fire. Don't blame me. Again, I've warned you endlessly, 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 endlessly. We need to wake up and understand that there are nefarious of people at work, nefarious organizations and groups at work. They want bad things for America. Look at the Georgia Guidestones. Look at the murals at the Denver airport. I've seen them in person. Look at all. I've been to that airport several times. They're right there. Crazy, crazy stuff going on. God's in charge. God's shaking up the seasons. Look at the weather outside. He's shaking everything up. Everything in Matthew 24 that points his way to the imminent rapture, everything in all the prophetic books of the Bible that points his way to the imminent rapture have happened. They're happening right now. We're just waiting on God, waiting on that last Gentile, I believe, to be saved, to fill that ship, to fill the ark, so it can set sail, this time not to above the waters to protect Noah and his family. This time the ark will set sail to heaven. Praise the Lord. All the dead in Christ will rise first. Then all of us who are alive and ready will go. We're going to be a small number, I believe, who are alive. The dead in Christ will be huge because so many used to follow Christ back in the old days. Now, very few do. Most churches, most pastors are a joke. They work for the devil. And it's sad. Most Christians work for the devil. It's sad. It's time to repent, my friends. It's time to fall on your face. Ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins anew and draw near unto him before your time runs out. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I'll pray for you every day without fail. I don't want to see anyone perish and spend forever in hell the lake of fire. I want you all to go to heaven and go to heaven soon. If you die first or if you go in the rapture first, whatever happens. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I'll pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, witness and pray for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you all. Please wake up. Show Christ you care. Share. Help me get the word out. Help me share the good news. Help me perform the Great Commission. Share this video. May God bless you. I love you. Bye.